This is a story you'll see only on Way 31. One Korean War veteran got to take a trip back in time today. Way 31 breaking news anchor Georgia Clark brings us this historic flight and a new opportunity for veterans right here in North Alabama. This L-17 is named Kunsan Cadillac. Well, it's a 1948. It's a four-seater. Uh, it's designed for liaison. And this Korean War era plane had a special passenger, Korean War veteran Dwayne Hoffman. And at 90 years old, Hoffman had no trouble climbing up in that L-17. I, I was all for it from the very beginning because anytime I can fly in, a, in an aircraft that, that I've never been in before and learn a little bit more about it and everything, uh, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Hoffman was taken up in the 75-year-old plane by James Birch of the Rocket City Wing of the Commemorative Air Force. And Hoffman is just the start of the Rocket City Wing's work with veterans in the area. So he was a great first uh, flight for us. And so we plan to do more. And we're going to keep doing it. Yeah. And that's our goal. To Birch, these free flights are an opportunity for them to serve veterans. Well, here's the example. We just want to give back to all those veterans who served with us uh, for our country. And Hoffman says his flight was nothing short of exciting. It was great. I, I very much enjoyed it, and uh, he even let me take the controls for a little bit, and so I was, I was happy to do that and just to see whether I could keep it from going into the ground or something. And, <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Hoffman served in the Navy from 1951 to 1955, and he says being in that plane brought back a lot of memories of his time in Korea. The Rocket City Wing of the Commemorative Air Force plans to continue offering free flights to veterans and hopes to offer paid flights for the community in the future. With coverage you can count on, Georgia Clark, Way 31 News. What an incredible flight there. To find out how you can get involved with the Rocket City Wing of the Commemorative Air Force, you can just head over to waytv.com and open up this story right now.